Lifter, I want to play a game. For years you've wandered the gym, skipping leg day, chasing the pump, never daring to approach true failure. But the body keeps score, and time is running out before you lies a barbell, loaded precisely to challenge your limits. One set, no do-overs, no excuses. To escape mediocrity, you must take this set to absolute muscular failure, or remain weak forever. Push past the pain, confront the burn. Only through intensity will you grow. Make your choice. Live with effort, or die as a beginner. If I'm training with one set to failure, using high intensity training, would adding a second set offer any real benefit? And is one set enough to build muscle over time? You just gave it everything you had. One all out set taken to total muscular failure. High intensity training, Mike Mincer style. But here's the question, is one set enough? Or could you get even more benefit by adding a second. At this point, we all know that high intensity training is a style where each exercise is performed with maximum intensity, usually just one working set, taking to momentary muscular failure. That means you physically cannot do another rep with good form. The idea is simple, stimulate, then recover and grow. No junk volume, no fluff, just hard work. What happens when you add a second set? In a 2010 study, it was found that performing multiple sets led to about 40% greater hypertrophy than single sets on average. But, and here's the catch, most of these studies didn't push the single sets all the way to failure, and the population wasn't always advanced lifters. Most people in this study and most studies like it are people new to training and they're working each set with moderate effort. So it could be that they were just making newbie gains. So is one set to failure enough? Yes, absolutely it can be, especially if you're one, pushing that set to true muscular failure, two, progressively overloading over time, three, training with proper form and intention. Studies have shown that there's no significant difference in muscle gains between one versus three sets in untrained individuals. But as you become more advanced, the difference may start to matter. Here's when a second set might offer benefits. One, if you don't push the first set to complete failure, a second set could help people who are starting out with high intensity training and don't know how it even feels to train to full failure. Most of the time people just train till they feel the burn and then they stop. They don't train to failure, they train till discomfort. Two, if your technique or focus slips during the first set, so basically if you screw up the first set, now you give yourself a second chance. This way you know that you properly stimulated the muscle. Three, if your recovery and nutrition are dialed in and you can tolerate more volume, you've been training for some time and you feel like now you need that extra push over the cliff, then crank it up to 11 and add in a second set. Adding a second set doesn't double your results, but it may allow you to push different motor units or reinforce the stimulus if your first set didn't reach full depth of fatigue. Think of it as a coverage set, not mandatory, but potentially helpful in the right context. Now, this is just my personal opinion, but the best reason for a second set is safety. If you're not working out on equipment that allows for you to go to full failure in a safe manner, or if you're working out alone, taking a set to full momentary muscular failure on like a standard bench alone can be very dangerous, especially when you start adding weight to the bar. If you get injured during training, then that's it, it's over. My previous equipment allowed me to push to failure and drop the weights down with no issue. My new home gym is a Smith machine with safety catchers. 
This allows me to go to full failure and let the bar down on the catchers. Without this, I would basically have a guillotine in my basement. So is one set enough to build muscle? Yes, if it's truly taken to failure and paired with progressive overload, good sleep, and nutrition. Thousands of lifters from Mike Mincer's clients to modern lifters have built serious muscle on one set. But if your goal is maximum hypertrophy and you can recover well, adding a second set might squeeze out some extra growth. That's something you have to figure out on your own through trial and error to see where you fall on the spectrum of volume. New to training or short on time, one set to failure works. Advanced lifters, stalling in progress, try adding a second set strategically. More volume isn't always better. Better effort is better. So this isn't just my opinion. Many lifters believe that it's not about how many sets you do, it's about how hard you train the ones you do. So all right, like, if you train high intensity style, comment below, do you train with one set or more? And subscribe for more videos like this one. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Ball right there, see it? I'm pop it out real good for you here. There you go. Nice and juicy. Look at all the delicious fluids. Trying to escape the Liver King Lumberjack. Great book there. Or one more quick eyeball, y'all. One more quick one. No problem for the lumberjack king. We're also gonna have lobster with delicious.